Okay, this is my little, my 2.1 uh, Black Beetle 2. Not sure if I'm gonna call it Black Beetle, but it's uh, using the same components as I used on the Black Beetle, which is Tang Band, uh, six and a half sub. No, I'm sorry, it was, I think it's five and a quarter. Five and a quarter inch sub. Um, except that these are gonna use, the, I think it's the RS100, the Dayton Audio full range. Uh, more expensive than those peerless three and a half. So these are gonna be four, but reality, the diameter is smaller on, on these drivers, same tweeters. Anyway, use the uh, red oak here. Um, and this is for the baffle and I got the the back end the sides are black uh, so we're going to be using that um, the back here not very satisfied see what I did is I used this shellac it's not shellac shellac and what that does um it's got tenon blockers i had a bad experience with the other black beetle where i had to send it down back to bear um and then put the, sh the shellac on there right Be or the stain blocker rather um so that it didn't turn green on me the black was turning green man so on this one i did one coat of it's not shellac Sanded that down because it raises the grain a little bit. And then I did the uh, the stain. The problem is that the stain doesn't penetrate as, as well as I'd like it to. Um, hence why I kind of left, I did this on purpose, okay? I left a little, uh, left a little heavy with, with some streaks on it. Um, that's the top end. Always, always do the back, the bottom side when testing it. And that's how it looked when I just apply it and then wiped it, wiped it off or scrubbed it off rather because it starts to dry on there. If you don't wipe it off on time, it'll it'll leave streaks. But I that, that was intentional in my end. Um, here I kind of did a little blotchiness to it. Uh, again, intentional. Uh, same on this end, just so enough so that you can read the lettering. Um, that does too is. This baff, the baffle in front came with the original, is part of the original wood, um, the birch wood that these were created with. Um, the this other one here is like a red oak plywood that I got from Home Depot. It's not as like the 13 ply, if which is the birch, very thin veneers, whereas the other, um, the Home Depot version is uh, has does not have such thin veneers or uh, layers it's very thick but and this is a this is a little cheaper wood this you can tell from the markings here you can see there that's uh usually a good indicator of a cheaper type of a plywood um but it it, it will work and don't mind those that drippage that was just me being patient but the nice part about this is that uh, it doesn't matter because I'm going to put a cloth over it. And uh, I've made a video quite some time, but just wanted to post what this is going to look like. Hopefully, um, you know, it comes out as uh, I desire it to, or I envision it rather as uh, this. I'm probably going to do another very light sand with a 400 grit. Get all those just the big bumps and the roughness. Um, get that taken out. Um, this is uh, so I put the stain, and this is what it looks like with another uh, tannin blocker layer of, of it's not shellac. And what I'm hoping to do is that that will seal it off. So when I do put the top coat, because I'm gonna put some some filler. I, I think I might have a little bit of, of um of wood a grain filler. Um, and once I put that on there, um, then, and smooth that out, I'll put the top coat, but we'll see. I, I, I don't even know if I have it. I, usually I could use a Crystallac, uh, version of the grain filler. Uh, but if I don't have that, I might have to order. There's another one that 
our guitar um, builder has recommended in the past, and I think it's UV activated. Fortunately, there's not a lot of UV or sunshine out lately. Um, so I've been having to keep these in as much as possible. It kind of extends the curing time for everything I'm doing, um, but that's all right. little recap of the sealant staining polyurethane top coat process um, I did uh, two coats of it's not shellac which is like shellac so it's water-based on this and it helps to block tannins um, the first coat I sent, I did a one coat and I sanded it down. I took down the, uh, took off the, all the raised grain, took all that off. Um, and then I put the stain, I did oil-based stain. Problem here is uh, that I, like I mentioned on the previous uh, video, uh, it didn't penetrate as well. So I went really thick and I left some lines. Um, that you can see now after the second seal, because I stained second uh, st uh, sealing of the, it's not shellac again, um, sanded that down, um, a, not, not, not deeply, just enough so that I took off any imperfections. Mm -hmm. Then I went and I did a, um, a top coat. Um, and after I did that top coat, I wet sanded it a little. I waited a while, wet sanded, and then um, and then this is a second top coat. Um, and technically, on here, I just did a I did one top coat, and then another one of the um, of the bright tone, high gloss or the gloss, um, because and even even now you can see some of um, some of the sanding that I did 